Mm, what's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play uh, as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode we have intercepted Russian forces around the city of Lviv and we're going to destroy them and head them east, I believe, except for this army. This is the most... Uh, the mo Actually, I was about to say the most westerly Russian forces, but no, there isn't, because there's some there and there's some behind them in Courland. So let's just ignore what I, what I was thinking about saying and carry on. This reinforcement here in this, the garrison uh, in the city is at full strength. We will tear them to shreds. We have plenty of troops to the southeast to take advantage of them when they get pushed back. So that should be pretty nice. We can jump on, secure the city and keep on advancing. Although I am very keen to keep advancing anyway. We've broken through their lines on multiple areas. So I think where we have forces that are able to slip through the lines and destroy or capture cities, um, I think we have to do that. We might not necessarily be able to chase down every individual force they've got to put against us. Anyway, without further ado, let's get set up. So we are on the defensive. So let's take... Okay, so let's do guns. Let's put three units of Kizobashi. It's not ideal having those trees there. I'll stretch my right flank out a bit further later on. Let's take the last of my infantry. Sorry, I had to stop for a minute just to check that uh, my microphone wasn't picking up my mouse, which it appears not to be doing. Okay, so then the last two guns are going to sit here, be dragged forward and set up up front. Okay, I think it's just a bit messy because we need to properly set up it's really important to set up wide because we know we've got so these guns are going to fire shrapnel shot now they've got mortars we are still going to hold. So these men are going to get ripped apart by musket fire. I mean, they're still pushing. What this unit makes ready, though. Once these guns up on the up on the hill are ready, they're going to exclusively focus on knocking out their mortars. My artillery, well, this artillery started to aim at their infantry formations advancing on us. Sadly, I think. Shrapnel shot might be an interesting choice to go after their mortars, but I don't think we've got the capability. So these guns, yeah, just focus on their mortars. We've knocked out one mortar. Engaging the other. Ah, we got charged. We got charged here. Fortunately, they charged my arm and cavalry. Okay, let's bring these units in on the flank. Switch to canister shot. So here comes a large block of Russian troops. Let's load and fire as rapidly as we can. Canister shot coming in. 
We target against the eight. Something like that. Our artillery against the mortar batteries is still ongoing. Blast them at point blank range. I mean, still shoot at that, the 8th unit. Because they're at they're, they're, they're decent strength still. So maybe switch to shrapnel shot. Should aim at the 61st because they're coming back. Because they're, they're still a good. They're still at high strength. Actually, where's my. Let's get my Sipahi in against the mortars. Switch my. The guns behind my lines to bombards here. Native Lancers go after the horse artillery because they're knocking holes in our line. Lots of artillery. Let's bring my Native Lancers up here as well. To be honest, now is the time to commit my cavalry force. They lost their infantry here is in for a bad time. So Sipahi go for the dragoons. Excuse my native lancer to sam sandwich this for Bjorni Streltsy. Gonna get it up against my Sipahi. To be honest, this might be it, actually. Yeah, Dragoons are falling. The rest of my battle line is calmly and professionally engaging their infantry line. Yeah, I think that might be it, actually. Make sure my artillery up here are engaging appropriate targets. Bombarding the 36th. And no, here comes the militia. They aren't done. Let's probably knock out their artillery. if we can take it out. And the oh yeah, here comes the reinforcements. Amen. Switch to canister engaged the 99th. My line here. Engage the 64th in Nizhny Norov Norovgod. So my cavalry's on the way out. Form our defensive line again. Maybe send some native lancers out to go chase units down. Yep, here he comes. So this is the garrison now coming in. Human Annihilate, 47th Regiment, go after the first foot guard. If possible, you are very close to their line. Switch these guns to 
Shrapnel. No, retreat. Oh no, they're both in a route. Let's pitch back to round shot. Focus on the 160th. The Russians are making a push in. Just a second, everyone. There we go. Right. Horse and Grenadier Guards. Blast them with shrapnel fire. My cavalry are patiently waiting for these militia to charge. Him with shrapnel shot, but we've missed all the time. That's a couple of good hits. Third hit missed. Charge my Spahi in. One last shrapnel hit. Killed a few on the flank. Missed a round shot. There we go. The militia did finally make it to my line, but my Spahi smashed them in the rear. Push through and shatter them, just to make sure they don't come back. Combine both my light lances, or my native lances, against the dragoons. The dragoons should take a lot of damage. Ooh, okay, make sure my... All motorists firing round shot. Excellent. Now we've got a couple of good Russian units to take out. So the unit of light infantry guards is going to get chewed up. This unit of militia is going to take a whole bunch of volleys. I did it not to. You men commit. Excellent. So go after the line infantry. Excellent. So you men go after the line infantry guards. Oh, there is a unit in the center, but they've now finally decided to route. Damn right, we're going to continue. So let's take my more my artillery, get them to cease fire. Kill them all. There you got them. Go after the regiment of foot. You go after the line infantry, you men go after the 23rd. Because they're all spread out, I send the most cavalry after the 23rd, although they're actually all spread out. All of you focus on the 160th, because that are the units managed to rout. Whereas all of you guys will kill this cavalry, this infantry unit. Nice. The garrison of Lviv has been just completely beaten up because they've got a thousand men remaining so those two units have been combined pushed east towards this fortress which we can siege and then our army can come in and seize Lviv and continue the advance so they have pushed towards um, Krakow and Poland but we've got an army here that will be able to nip around and save them 
But it looks like they're going to be silly. Oh, no. They are going to make it. They are going to not bog the entire campaign down. Naturally, they're going to do some raiding, as is the Russian tradition. Well, the garrison at Astrakhan is being bolstered. Opportunity to intercept this army. Uh, actually, it is actually. It must be this army that's moving, but that doesn't make sense because that's not the garrison. That's the garrison. Still, we're going to fight it manually because we don't want to cause a whole lot of damage to our other units. So let's get cracking. Because these two armies can take. We'll put. We can push up through the Baltic states and then head towards St. Petersburg and swing around to the north of Moscow as we continue to push towards Moscow itself from central and southern Russia. Terrain is a bit squiffy. They're very weak though, so let's just dump all of my guns back here. They can shoot at whatever they like. Send all of my infantry on the all of my infantry more on the left. The contingent of melee troops that are going to go down through the low ground. Two melee troops that are going to be on the left. Give them some cavalry buddies. There we go. Not sure where the reinforcements are coming. Oh Jesus! You guys have to run, redeploy pretty, pretty rapidly. You men are going to get over here. As are the cavalry. This light cavalry is going to be fairly poorly. Yeah, they're all engaging my... Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna real hurt. Yeah, we are beating up there. They're <laughs> beating up their artillery. Just push through their formation. Yeah, that quick line's gonna actually didn't cause as much pain as it could have done. So yeah, their infantry's gonna form square. I mean lots of Russian infantry. That's not bad. It might limber up my artillery. So the, hope, the main idea is to keep my cavalry blocking them from forming defensive positions. For my infantry to prevent them from blocking, from creating defensive positions, and my cavalry just keep trying to chew them up. Just throw as much stuff into the mix. Yeah, they see they tried to uh, withdraw, but they suddenly realised actually we need to fight. So let's not withdraw. And these are only Cossacks. <laughs> see you men push up. Here comes a unit of militia. So we can't attack them until they're fully in, but they can walk into my men and get damaged. Uh, 
And as they make it onto the battlefield. Although it looks like they, they might not even get that opportunity. There you go. Some of their other hidden units have... Uh, decided to come into play. The militia are more than welcome to try and charge. Because Obashi are no slouches and neither are Hindu musketeers. Bayonet charge. We'll see who takes the glory from this field. over here. There's another unit of militia. And then push up. New men push up. Let's hope I can knock out, I mean, all oh, so I unnumbered all these guns on the assumption that Aha. Militia, kill them. Yeah, I, I limbered all these guns up on the assumption that I'd have to maybe displace my formation. But apparently not. Apparently it appeared as though it is going to be safe. All of you folks on the light, Cossacks in the rear. Oh yeah, they're moving. They're moving. He didn't like that at all. Okay, excellent. That looks like that is the end of their insurrection behind the lines. Looks like that massed artillery fire is bad for my troops as well. Let's do something like that. Let's get my sea warriors over here. My master gunnery. Get to work on the 82nd just to upset them. There we go. So let's get all my guns. Stop firing. Get all this infantry over here. You men keep attacking the Cossacks. They're only light cavalry, and seeing musketeers are some of the best musketeers I can get. So I'm not worried about them at all. ceasefire with the muskets. <clears throat> so there goes the end the militia. Let's focus on the engineers. So they are few in number, surrounded by madmen wielding swords. Oh, no, no, don't shoot. I mean, if they're going to run around... Four souls. Yeah, we got him. Let's give all my artillery one. Give, give the gorilla musketeers a volley. Gorilla mercenaries. Pull my musketeers back. They're too close. Come on, let's get my cavalry up and let's end it. If you aim at the Cossacks, they'll be safe enough to shoot at.
Hey, they're aware they are being engaged. Yeah. Devastating amount of artillery fire. Could pursue, but most of these units are pretty knackered already. Besides which, I want to get some actual uh, turn completed. Down to 528 men remaining. Oh, that was interesting. That was this army getting involved. Oh, so it was this. It was the army at Riga with the garrison at Riga and the and the reinforcement of Courland. Interesting set of circumstances. Uh, Guatemala has a port that needs to be occupied. Bavaria's. They look strong, but they are just lots of weakened militia units. They'll be swept away in short order. When the time comes, that is. Come on, let's get cracking. I want to see New Spain try and break through the Quebec blockade. Enemy raid at Tilsit. Okay, so you demand the surrender because the army nearby is not able to help you. If the demand of surrender hadn't worked, then the thing to do would have been to siege the fort so that no one could, so that no one could, um, they couldn't march to the aid of anyone. You men are going to push up towards Minsk. And these men are going to push up towards Kiev. Okay, you've already got a madrasa. I'm pretty sure you are getting one. Uh, heck, let's get another one. I didn't repair. Let's exempt you from tax. So, new town emerges. Town in Cherokee territory. That may entice the Russians to push and take me out, or try to at least. Let's upgrade the port. Let's recruit some sloops. Let me raid in Donetsk farmland. Fine. Construction. Okay, Rhineland. Unsurprisingly, we're building an absolute bucket load of bucket load of uh, madrasas because we've got a lot of people to convert to Islam. This is an entire continent that does not practice that religion. My workshop's done. They've rioted in Crimea, ah, so they are going to rebel, but that's okay. Fleet arrived. Yeah, you are one of the fleets that were beaten up. So you men get out to here and recruit some fifths. You men get in for repairs. Another fleet arrives. It's the other fleet that got beaten up. There's no massive rush to make sure these are all done perfectly, so let's just sit them out here. They can wait to enter Barcelo, Barcelo, Barcelo. Okay, Transylvania is being held. So you men, I mean, you might just auto that because that's already a force that we've. That's a force we've already fought. So the new men. Also push up towards Ukraine because they appear to want to hold that position. They fortified it quite heavily. You men advance towards Astrakhan. You might just shoot Kazan right off the bat. Just start to really aggressively probe. You men are going to hold this territory for now. You men are going to embark. 
deposit your troops off the coast of the Black Sea. Workers on strike. Workers on strike in lots of places, but here's they've got over it. Cologne got over it. And Davia got over. Oh, path block. That's why. That's why none of these made sense. If you want to demand the surrender of the garrison of Riga? Yeah. Get rid of the naval hospital. You keep pushing around. Yeah, because we've blockaded, we've stopped it, stopped them from being able to push across here. They're having to go through the wilderness here, so it's adding some extra time. So ideally, it would be good to make to uh, push on St. Petersburg. We want you to come here. And attack John Kadatsev. Ooh, good general. Let's try and take him out. Yeah, you want to defend Poland, force their troops east. And if we could push up on push up to St. Petersburg uh, in rapid succession, that would be really good. That'd be really, really, really useful. But I think religious unrest is going to slow us down, and it's going to mean we can't push as quick as we may want to. So my guns are going to be up on the hill, engaging at range. Although actually, this is not a. This army needs rebalancing. Force them to come to us. I suppose it's not that bad. African light mercenaries, they'll be suffering in this weather. we can push. Let my artillery shoot at whomever they desire. Doing it individually because we've got some kind of funky deployment options, and these men in the town are going to war. And we needed our. Oh, that's a massive concentration of enemy troops. So we get some good secondary effects after going for good despite aiming at their artillery. I'm gonna send my make my bigger units. So you men engage the dragoons with the shrapnel shot. hope is these guys eventually pull back but it looks like they are deploying into a line They're trying to engage us but they missed Here comes the first musket fire trap will coming in that got a good number of them This, this area first because they're going to be the the, ch the, uh, the troops that engage their line first. If they push my Kizilbashi, that's fine. They'll take them out. Let's make sure my artillery is engaging other targets. And in fact, let's just kind of not avoid the artillery, but say actually we've got so many, we've got a lot of artillery in range. Let's make sure we use it. Hmm. 
Pikemen Marines. Okay, let's begin to run them because now it might start to make a difference. After general, make sure that's done because their general is highly capable. Oh, it's a, so it's blown through this unit, it's hit this unit, and it's also hit 60th behind. That is ideal. My lancers go for there. Go for the general, the camel mercenaries. Trot up and just shoot them with your carbines if you wish. men engage, begin engaging their line infantry. Let's take one unit of artillery. I'll blast them with shrapnel. So back at the rear, the general's bodyguard's been engaged by all of my artillery, which is very nice. The musketeers have abandoned the idea. Actually, going to try and charge someone else. massacre of the troops at the front is continuing. We are going to want to keep attacking the general's bodyguard. There we go, we got him. Switched around shot, bombard the forces in the centre. The guys on the flank will be okay. Commit the Sipahi. They'll chew, chew through my Israeli rapidly. But that will be their downfall. We're winning easily. We're actually, we're holding off quite well. How about you? Get all my guns engaging the 43rd. Kill that last line infantryman, then go after the 48th. Good volley into the flank of the Marines. Brave fools have decided to stick around. We've got plenty of artillery on the field. They're going to get chewed up by my musketry. Okay, so let's bring you guys over here ish. Marie, uh, camels go after the foot guards, Sipahi go after the pikes. I believe the days are numbered for the 30, 43rd. We are going to be at risk from, from friendly fire here. There goes the 26th. 43rd's taking a lot of damage. They cannot hope to hold that position for very long. Especially if this unit of African guards gets involved. Oh, they're reloading. Speed up time because right now we're in 
We are very much in mopping up territory. Yeah, there we go. So this unit of line infantry that came back after the retreat. So let's just charge them. Bash. Bash. Made the 27th suffer forever believing it could come back. Nicely done. Should go after that line infantry unit because they're all complete. Oh, the, the, the vaunted 43rd. They held on for so long. And they are going to live to fight another day. Unlike the second foot guard. There's one guardsman left. <laughs> the officer ran him down. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Excellent. So John Kadatsev has been killed. His army annihilated. So this garrison can pop out and hit them. Actually, the Poland, the Polish city, the modern day Polish city, does not mind this. Doesn't mind the city being left to ruin itself. Okay, let's push another army north. I'm somewhat, not concerned exactly, but I don't think we've got the mass to the north that I would like. Try and kill off some of their agents, going for the ones we can most useful, most likely kill. We've done all this. Got him. So we started to convert yet? Yeah. Nope. The, that priest is still... He's casting a long shadow. So you've got your orders. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's take you and just knock out... Yeah, this... Detachment. Let's make sure you guys are... Replenishing. We can demand the surrender of surrender of Vilnius because the territory just doesn't have. Wow. Okay, but we're not going to fight it. We're just going to. We're just going to take it over because the garrison is so was so small. It wasn't worth time. To fight it specifically. Okay, you men require a new unit of artillery. Bring up the guns. And you men can go here, then hit this Tilsit raiding force. And push. And what's your composition like? Pretty good. <laughs> Especially as the garrison's rubbish and we've got a general field marshal of the army trapped inside. Let's engage and take Yalgava. <laughs> yeah, we're making some good progress. We're knocking back some key forces. The main, this, the large battle's going to happen around uh, the Ukrainian capital because that's where the bulk of their that's where the bulk of their army actually is. But that just, that just means that we can make good progress to the north and to the south. I speak Spanish. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I remember. King Charles V of Spain. What a scallywag. We're going to blow our way in. Large mortars go up front and just shoot at whatever they like. I mean, look, most of this stuff's going to be completely unnecessary. Spread out our cavalry a bit so we don't take as many easy kill, easy, easy hits. Knock a hole in the wall. All the 
guns are listening to my orders, however. Probably because they're in a group. They don't like grouped orders. See, in theory, you men can attack guys in the center. Some of our guns are going after targets in the center, which I don't I'm not entirely unopposed to. So for example, they are attacking whatever they like, as are the great guns. This unit's attacking the wall. Actually it looks like three of these three units are attacking the wall. These two units on the flank are going after whatever they fancy. Okay, let's speed up time, because uh, we're just knocking holes in the wall. We're probably not going to make more than one, because we're going to fight for the breach, and we're going to take the take the gate as well. Because once the wall falls, yeah, they're immediately going to redeploy troops. Three. Okay, let's send... Two Hindu musketeers. Dervishes and Hindu warriors can push up. Islamic swordsmen secure the fort. These two musketeers get back to help hold the breach. Let's get another unit of Islamic swordsmen up on the walls. Let's send Kizobashi unit musketeer unit up onto the wall. All my artillery receive orders to attack ground at the breach. My large mortars fire quick climb at whatever you fancy. Oh, you're going after the provincial line guarding the gatehouse. Not bad. Maybe extend it a little bit. Oh, I bounced right through a rank of troops here. But yeah, let's push it back more directly into the breach to try and minimise our risk of fratricide. Some cavalry can go in through the gatehouse. Some units can push in behind. Make sure my general goes around the guns. Indian Musketeers make ready and fire. The provincial line are outside of the wall, so they break really easily. Are they going to send the 65th out as well? They are. Brave silly buggers also hear a cavalry charge. They don't like the fact that we're going off to the wall. Or you may get hit by quick climb secondary effects. Yes, we have we got one guy. Let the Islamic swordsmen mass on the walls before we charge over. Although it looks like they're abandoning the gate. we will push my men these the men that are up here over the bridge to secure said gate bring up my ahadi which is just beautiful looking cavalry now these men are gonna go climb up these ladders or these ropes as well actually all of the gates are now ours Roger 
Now it's time for the dervishes to do the heavy lifting. The cavalry is going to push through the gate. My mortars are going to cease fire. You guys should go the correct way, not through the breach. Yep, good. Get all my swordsmen off of the wall. I don't mind if they run through the gate now. Push through. Expand the beachhead, or the bridgehead, if you like. You men have fire will off. There are you men. Send in the sword and hatchet wielding maniacs. They've pushed out to meet us, which is very brave. Go on, Islamic swordsmen. Start taking some of these guys off of their horses. They're trying to shrapnel us. Still climbing up as fast as we can. The elephants are starting to struggle. We just kill the last of these cavalrymen that are blocking our way in. We got him. Push my cavalry around this infantry block. Go for the centre. You then push in against the 65th. General Field Marshal of the Army. They've unloaded their pistols. There's a whole lot of. Where is he? There he is. Kill him. Nicely done. Keep mowing through them. Uh, you men just jump on the provincial line. Killed the general field marshal of the army. You men are still hacking your way through the line infantry. You guys go for the general, you guys go for that artillery unit, you men go for that artillery unit. Just clear them out. They're, they're going to break because they're running out of everything. Come on, you men, get off the walls. Don't just start stabbing from back here. What good's that? The elephant musketeers sit on the central point. You men get over towards the breach. Uh, why are you guys are not going for them? You guys go for the 65th. Hit them in the rear. I mean, this has taken... Longer than, than a garrison of this size deserved. Uh, they broke. You men kill them as they run through you. We're not going to wait here and get them all. The army is destroyed anyway. So that is your Garva taken. Another Baltic coast city. They really don't like us. 
So I expect your Garva. Actually, no, you're minus one. That's okay. Get rid of the major fishery. Get rid of the military port of Königsberg. You may occupy the port. Upgrade the roads. Push on my spy. Excellent. So, I mean, across the board, we're just making lives better for people. So, you're waiting for artillery, you can't move. Yes, sir. I mean, I do have overwhelming force in this area, I admit. But I want to see what they do. I want to see if they walk into range of my troops. That, and really, I've got. Well, to me, I shouldn't be on the defensive. I should just. Especially when it's small fragments like this, just not much. Just mop them up. Because these chaps. Army group south, if you like, can provide pressure against Moscow. And suddenly they're going to be thinking, oh, no, that's not good at all. You're on the main road to Moscow, but I want you to just hold here for now. Okay, Greece. Protector of Dagestan. Yeah, that'll all kick off at some point. Ultimately, when it comes to Greece, I will probably just blockade them and let them slowly choke. So you want more Israeli, always good. Uh, hmm. Give you guys a long order to push towards Moscow because you're not going to get there anytime soon. And by then we should hope, be hoping to make have made some progress. Are you a garrison? No, you're a proper army. Okay, you're ready to rock and roll as well. So let's do the same. Give you an order to push Moscow. But you got a long shot to Kazan. You men are ready to jump on Astrakhan and on the Ufa. The push to the north it will be done. Soon. Are you ready to leave Finland? Minus one. Yeah, that'll go away this turn. Let's push up here. Get rid of the naval base. Uh, yes. Just ought to resolve this fight against Pikenti, although I might have to separate a cavalry unit out to initiate the engagement and then draw the army in. Because, yeah, that's just silly. Ultimately, lots of this stuff's just really just mopping up territory. Unsurprisingly, Sweden hates us, so they are likely to revolt regardless of what we do. Although, no, I say that, I tell a lie. If we knock down the university, that will deal with most of their problems. They're currently minus 7, so the upper classes will love us. The lower classes are currently minus 27, which will become minus... Uh, nine immediately, but it will be minus eight next turn. But once we repair everything as well, that will help. Religious unrest five is not great. You're not ready to take over Dresden yet. Okay, let's put you onto a boat and dump you off of Stockholm because Gdansk has a madrasa, so they're already going to be converting people fairly consistently. At least you can start chipping away at the Protestant nature of Sweden. So you can mop up to the north. There's no 
The only general they've got is back here, who is also quite good. Let's try taking them out. But I think for the most part I have to hit in turn and see what happens. Sheet lead cartridges are nearly done. Yeah, still shifting some of our religious agents around. Uh, you were going to garrison Hanover, but now you're not going to for now. Let's see how Russia responds. Because that was quite a... I'd say it was quite a devastating turn for them. Lots of their turns have been quite devastating for them. But it doesn't seem to have put them off. Lots of troops manoeuvring around the interior of the country. So my armies in Finland are likely to, are going to probably chase the Russians east towards Petrovskaya rather than jumping south to St. Petersburg. That's what the forces in the Baltics are going to be for. Looks like they are pulling troops back from Scandinavia though rather than pushing them in. Of course, we could, because we don't have visibility on everywhere in Russia, we're still going to have some of these areas where things get bogged down somewhat. But the end is near for them. Once that happens, we can jump on Dagestan and their protectorates, then the central German states, take out Greece, take out Britain, and then it's time to jump on the... <laughs> jump into the Americas and just swarm everywhere with way more Mysorian troops than they can handle. And you've got around the flank, but the Crimea garrison will take care of them. Ooh, the Crimea garrison actually might be not vulnerable precisely, but if they drive south from Kiev, it could be risky. I think our, our plan in general is safe. They can only raid at the periphery. That's their only ability to have an effect on us. And they can't take any of our cities. They're just a bit out on a limb. St. Petersburg is bottled up. It's isolated and weak. It's a pity these chaps were garrisoning the port because you could potentially sail a fleet up the Gulf of Finland and land and then take St. Petersburg in one turn. But that does not look like it's going to happen. We could potentially sail them east because there is a port here and do it that way. But I'd rather zip in at close range. Yeah, but it looks like they are abandoning, uh, well, apart from one raiding force, they are abandoning Scandinavia. Pushing more troops up to the front in the west. The bolstering the garrison of Minsk. At the cost of the garrison of Kiev, by the looks of it. Astrakhan is is being fortified. We have to fight to cross the the river Delta before we can get to the city itself. I suspect New Spain is gonna pick up um, an army. Actually no, they can't pick up an army. They have no ports. They have no coastline. They have nowhere to pick up an army. They may declare war on us subsequently, but if they do, that is up to them. The Quebec. <laughs> Quebec holds. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, let's get everything set up for this turn. Ready for the next episode, which will be an episode full of battles again. Battles and end turns. <laughs> Right, right, right. So. 
You men get hold of Minsk. Don't do anything yet. You guys go after those men still holding out. The Crimean rebels. Will you intercept us? No, you will not. Good. I got two good armies holding Crimea. You can run around here and rebel, that's fine. This army this army force continue to push Moscow and cause them cause for concern. You continue to blow the heads off of these Russian dogs. Twenty-six percent. Yes, got him. Nice. Still not yet converting the population because they got a whole bunch of. I suppose I should keep you both down here, really. Okay, so. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ah. Who would execute my agent? He's my assassin. Stockholm's come round. Nope, not a craft workshop, but my dresser. The new men require one more artillery piece. Excellent. Islam is on the march. Can you leave here? Minus one. Yep, they will, they will chill out. You men get to Odessa. Kirch is being built. All of my madrasas in Transylvania are popping up. Good, good, good. Okay, we'll be careful. Well, we can't kick off. Well, ultimately, we are at the point now where I'm. I, I need. To, I am going to fight a whole bunch of battles. Human sprint Kazan. Let's move this force up to reinforce. And then this force attack Yuli Staritova. Oh. We're going to fight it manually so I don't destroy both of my armies. But one army is going to destroy them. The other army is going to then push on and take Astrakhan. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Mysore. Cheers, everyone.